Welcome to the WoW Insider Weekly News Update. I'm your host, Matt McCurley. You can usually find me long form with Mike Sacco and Matt Rossi on the WoW Insider Show every Tuesday. That's our podcast. You should check that out. It's somewhere over on the right side link thing. You'll find it. You'll find it. Biggest news of the week, the Heart of the Aspects Mount. It's a sort of golden, chromatic-y looking... Uh, Chinese-inspired dragon. You know, it's one of those longer serpentine dragons. It looks really cool. The mount has awesome animations. Uh, it's 25 bucks on the pet store. It is not like the Wing Guardian Cub, in which you can purchase it and then sell it on the auction house, and it only goes to one character. No, this is like the old, the old school mount where you purchase it and it puts it to your account. Uh, whether or not that's a referendum on whether or not the Guardian Cub system worked or not, I don't think we can. Uh, I don't think we can surmise that yet, considering they're two different products at two different price points and all that jazz. But uh, it does bode very well for Blizzard's uh, team that's actually working on the store because this mount came out surprisingly quicker, or at least felt quicker, than the Wing Guardian mount, which came out... Uh, when did the Wing Guardian mount come out? Anyway, the new Heart of the Aspects mount is pretty cool. You can check out the video that I made of it. Uh, we had a contest. I don't think you can still enter that contest, sadly. But, uh, yeah, check it out. Pick it up. It's pretty cool. The Mists of Pandaria talent calculator, uh, the beta talent calculator. It was alpha talent calculator. This game is not in beta yet. Uh, the talent calculator was updated uh, considerably. Lots of new... Uh, data, new abilities, new talents. Uh, a couple classes don't have their final tier of talents, which are being redesigned, apparently. Uh, so, you know, you, you you wait. But this bodes very well for Mr. Pandaria, that they're sort of, uh, they're, they're at this point where they're making ability changes, you know? I mean, ability changes are tough, and I'm not saying that it's not a difficult thing to balance or do, but when you're tweaking numbers or you're changing the way an ability works that's not build me this whole new thing, that's a good sign. That means they're not in the phase of build me this whole new thing again, and we like that because that means the game is closer to release than not release. Basically, a new update on the Miss Pandaria talent calculator right now, kind of in the middle of February, means March is going to be huge. And the information that we're going to be getting in March is probably going to be substantial. I know that that's a kind of a no-brainer, but substantial information is coming about Mr. Pandaria, and the fact that we're getting skill changes and class kind of balancing stuff is really good news. Submit your questions to Ask CDev3, uh, lore question and answer, uh, on the official WoW forums. Go submit your questions to the, to the thread. Uh, this... This, you know, way of doing the question and answers didn't necessarily work very well for uh, things like class balance or class abilities or talking about things like that or PvP. Uh, but for the lore, I think it works a little bit better. Lore questions have to go through a little bit more vetting. It's a little bit more difficult to kind of pull them, you know, right out of your head like that. It's a little difficult. Um, but I don't know. Uh, I, I'd really like to see a live lore discussion, you know. Uh, just like they did with the uh, class panel from Mr. Pandaria. I believe it was a class panel from Mr. Pandaria. They want to have this really cool, fun fan interaction between us and them and all that jazz. And I like that, and I think they should keep doing it. Uh, as for why they're doing a uh, an Ask C Dev now with this whole thing, I think it's because these Ask C Devs usually have a turnaround time of, what, like a month or maybe a month and a half. So get the questions in now. Have it ready to be released with all these Mr. Pandaria and or big Cataclysm lore questions and lore spoilers for when we're going to get more information about that stuff so that they can be like, here's your answers. Oh, by the way, in a week, we're going to tell you a ton more about this stuff. I think that's pretty cool. I think it's a good uh, good strategy for this. So I hope, something, I hope we get some good answers. I'd love to see some great questions and great answers. Finally, at Toy Fair 2012 uh, this week, uh, it was announced that Blizzard's actually uh, working with uh, licensees and companies, like they do, and putting out uh, Warcraft Monopoly and Risk Starcraft. These are really exciting. Risk Starcraft seems like the perfect fit, right? Like, since Risk is what? Like, the original turn-based strategy game, right? Maybe? Other than, what, war? Uh, I think it's going to be great, so... Oh, and they have a thing where you can vote on the Monopoly pieces. You can vote on which Monopoly pieces are going to be included in the set. There's a Hearthstone and a Corehound and a 
Doom Hammer and go to the Warcraft Facebook page and vote and vote for Corehound because that's what I want or Hearthstone, which is also adorable. That's it for me this week. You can check me out long form every week on the WoW Insider Show every Tuesday with Mike Sacco and Matt Rossi. Have a great weekend. And before I go, let me very quickly say big thank you to everybody who donated for little Rocky here. Rocky? No. Hello. <laughs>